Hi guys, welcome to Dr. Ayo YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about blood supply of the breast. So here, we will discuss about the arterial supply and venous drainage. First, arterial supply. Arterial supply is mainly done by the branches of axillary artery and internal thoracic artery and posterior intercostal arteries. So, from the axillary artery, here you can see the superior thoracic artery and here thoracoacromenal artery and here lateral thoracic artery. So this is axillary artery. This is the lateral thoracic artery arise from the axillary artery and this is thoracoacromial artery and here you can see the superior thoracic artery. So these three arteries are arise from this axillary artery. So this is the first one. So the second arterial supply is internal thoracic artery. Here you can see the internal thoracic artery. This is a branch of subclavian artery. And the third arterial supply of breast is perforating branches of posterior intercostal arteries. From here, we can see those perforating branches of posterior intercostal arteries. So these three are the major arterial supply of the breast. Now we will talk about the venous drainage. When we talk about the venous drainage, there's a very important one called as circumareolar venous flex. So the circumareolar venous flex is also known as the subareolar flexus. It lies beneath the subcutaneous layer of this areola and nipple. So this flexus collect venous blood from nipple areola complex and adjacent breast tissue. It plays a significant role in venous drainage of the breast. So again I'll explain this one. This is the circumareola venous flex. It lies beneath the nipple and areola and this flex collects venous blood from nipple areola complex and adjacent breast tissue. So this plays a significant role in the venous drainage of the breast. So the venous drainage can be categorized into two main systems as superficial venous system and deep venous system. Superficial venous system means the subcutaneous vein. Subcutaneous veins mean the veins directly under the skin. So they drain the superficial tissues of the breast. So the next deep venous system. They are the large veins pass from circumareolar venous plexus to circumference of mammary gland. So there are three main veins in this deep venous system. So the first one is lateral thoracic vein. Second one is internal thoracic vein. And the third one is posterior intercostal vein. Posterior mean they are in the backside and intercostal mean they are at the backside of the ribs. So as they are behind the ribs, I will write it here. So this vein is behind the ribs. So that's all about the blood supply of breast. I will give a brief idea again. Here in red color I have explained the arterial supply and in blue color I have explained the venous drainage. So when we talk about the arterial supply, there are major arteries contribute to this one. So the first one is the arteries arise from the axillary artery. First one the superior thoracic artery, thoracacromial artery, lateral thoracic artery. And the other one is internal thoracic artery. It is a branch of subclavian artery. And the last one is peripherating branches of posterior intercostal arteries. And when we talk about the venous drainage, 
This is a special one as circum areola venous flex. It is it surrounds the base of nipple and areola and the venous drainage can be divided into two system as superficial and deep. Superficial means subcutaneous veins. They drain superficial tissues of breast. And deep means there are three major veins as lateral thoracic vein, internal thoracic vein and posterior intercostal vein. This vein is behind the rib that means posterior to the intercostal. So that's all about blood supply. If you like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you guys.